Hello everyone. I finally made it to the second Broman's location. This is kind of close to the first one. It's still very close to Pasadena and it's a, this one's a lot smaller. It's like half the size, but it's still a really cool store and it's almost Halloween. And so I love all the Halloween decor that they have. I hope that they have it up this year and like the stuff they sell, for example. Um, very cute. I love Halloween stuff and I want to show you around the store and hopefully I find at least one book. I'm sure I will. And let's go. Let's have a tour. <music> And we made it in the store and when you first walk in they have staff picks here and I got distracted by that cute black cat card <laughs> so these are all staff picks and one of them there was the uh, southern book club's guide to slaying vampires I always have to think a little bit that just finished that it was amazing and I absolutely love all of the Halloween stuff that they have at this store if you ever want to throw a Halloween party come here for decorations because they're so good. So we have cookbooks that are like Halloween themed. There's a lot of cookware here. There's mugs, there's um, like napkin rings. I love that globe, I thought it was so cool. And plates, lots of stuff for like table decorations. And there's that bone puzzle over there, a wood puzzle, a lot like the pumpkin cart. Oh, wait, it's not a pumpkin, it's just a cart. And I really liked these vintage looking Halloween postcards. I thought it would be cool to get something like that and frame them as kind of an art piece. And I was obsessed with that yoga skeleton. I thought it was so funny. <laughs> This is the perfect store to come to if you want to buy a gift for someone because they have such cool products. This fan that looks like a book, for example. They have beautiful mugs that are funny. Uh, they have like quotes all over them. If you have a book lover friend who drinks out of a mug, <laughs> and of course, more Halloween stuff here, but I will show you throughout the course of this video different gifts that you can get people. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Books for tall people. And now I'm going to read through the first page of the books that I was interested in adding to my to be read category or books I was thinking about buying. And I ended up picking two books this whole trip where I read the first page and I was like, yep, this sounds good. I'm going to get it. This book looks so cute, that first sentence. In Moonbright, Maine, there's a pumpkin on every porch, fresh brewed apple cider in every cup, and the sweetest sorcery in the air. <laughs> I really like that. I wanted to add this to my list of books that I want to read. 
And this is another one, the new TJ Klune book. I still haven't read the house on the house on the cerulean sea. Is that what it's called? I still haven't read that one, but I want to. So maybe I'll read that one first, and if I like it, then I will get under the whispering door. like things pumpkin soaps pumpkin candles okay but look at this i thought it was so random and hilarious a wiener dog with a corn body or was that like a hound dog with a corn body i don't know i just thought it was so random and i love how they have a section here of like books that are being made into movies or like recently released movies I always love when they do a section like that because I love to read books and I watch the movie right after. some really good gift ideas they have beautiful lavender bath salts it was so heavy it's 26 dollars for that giant jar and there's also soaps like that's just so pretty pencils paper lotion packet i like that beautiful assortment of lotions and here's some more ideas for gifts these are like pouches that are based off of classic novels or very popular novels <laughs> the composition book one is funny okay and here we go all you cat lovers out there there's a display for cats and this book i thought was amazing it is about cats so you got the picture of the cat and then there's like an about section but the interesting thing about this book is it's a pop-up book so after you read about the cat you like do something where you pop it out and then it will stick up out of the book. I thought that was so cute. And these pencils. I mean, my cat hates you. Did someone say free kittens? Grumpy cat never forget. This is so cute. I got this for someone who is studying to be a nurse because there's nurse pencils. <laughs> so they're just really funny. And for all you dog lovers out there, don't worry. There's pencils for you too. Can I bring my dog? dogs and people <laughs> so there's a whole dog section on one side and a cat section on the other so good gift ideas
haven't read the Inheritance Games and also the second book, The Hawthorne Legacy. Are they worth it? Let me know. I also still need to get Good Girl, Bad Blood and also the third book that just came out. I really want to read that series. This book made me so mad. <laughs> the Hocus Pocus, it's like, not like the movie, it is a second book. It's like, takes place more in the present, but I just really hated that book. I don't know why, like I, I hated it so much that I gave it away. <laughs> I don't wanna keep it in my collection. And I liked this display of books. They're kind of like, more scary ones in this cover for the project. I thought it was so pretty and that looks like Buffy Summer. Like every time I look at that book cover I'm just like Buffy. <laughs> so of course I kind of want to get it and read it and see if it's any good. I know it's not Buffy but that's just who I imagine as the main character. fiction section and I found Alice Hoffman novels there's only I have two books in that practical magic series and so I'm missing like two or three but I couldn't remember which one I had just gotten and I didn't want to look it up because I was using my phone already and Mexican Gothic is one that I'm interested in reading I keep hearing about it Dialy for Annie's. Still one of my favorite books that I have read. So good. Has anyone read Catherine House? If so, was it any good? Because it looks really interesting to me. Hmm. I should put that on my list or see if the library has it or something. Unless it's really good. Tell me if it's good and I will probably buy it.
gonna show you some Halloween cozy mysteries that I found. So there's this one, Halloween murder. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. I ended up buying this book. And we also have Pumpkin Spice Pearl by Jen McKinley. I really like this author for the library lover mystery. So I found out that there's also a bake shop mystery, whatever. And of course, Leslie Meyer, those are amazing. So there's a few Halloween books by the author. And then this little stand was kind of Halloween type books for younger readers. So that's it. That's the tour. And I hope that you enjoyed it. I'll see you in another video. Bye.